Hi, in this video, I wanted to quickly talk about the three credit cards that I actually find the most useful in the German market because every single time you set out to buy a credit card or like what buy, like first of all, most of them are free. So like you don't have to buy the credit cards. But whenever you think about getting some kind of credit cards, you see so many forums and it was the same problem that I faced. So I was like, you know, I need a credit card which has no fee, like monthly fee or like yearly fee. And I also want a credit card which has some kind of benefit because then why wouldn't you just use your normal debit card? What is the point of credit card if you kind of just like have some kind of like extra benefits to it? And then I actually came up to like three credit cards which I have been using for over like last three years. So I'm going to like discuss them with you and tell you like what are the pros and cons and I'm not going to go too much into detail but I will tell you everything that you need to know because I don't want to bombard you again with like all kinds of like you know this is the interest rate this much like fees you will get deducted when you're like you know going abroad or something like that because I will tell you the best use cases for all of the three credit cards and exactly why I use them and in what kind of scenarios. So everything that i'm going to talk about will not cost you a single cent extra so like exactly whatever you're paying for something will be the money that will be deducted from your account and no yearly fee nothing no extra additional costs whatsoever but as a benefit you will be getting like from three percent to 0.5 percent money back on any kind of purchase you make which is crazy and this is again the first reason i was using credit cards i was like when we are making big purchases anyways because when we are like moving to the new house then it's just so much crazy stuff which has to be done and um, we have to like buy a lot of stuff. I think just over Amazon, we have spent quite a few thousand euros right now because a lot of small things had to be bought for the house. And again, like all of them are generally coming from Amazon and uh, generally because you get the best price there. Like you can also use AliExpress and stuff, but then you have to wait for shipping for like sometimes up to 40 days, which sucks. And this is the reason, you know, Amazon has competitive prices is our go-to place. So this is the reason like we kind of um, bought a lot of stuff there and then use the credit card to get a better percentage as a cashback on whatever kind of like things we are buying. So I'm going to start with the first one that I ever got which was the Gibeon Fry Gold Master card. So like kind of looks like this of course gold but the story with that is it's just like way more than that. Like you would think that maybe it has some kind of like crazy hidden fees or something but it's just absolutely lovely for the case whenever you are going anywhere abroad this means that maybe you are going to some other country the currency in that country is different than your own country then you can just go to any kind of atm take the money out and you don't have to pay any kind of like additional charges on that both of the other cards i'm talking about they will have from 1.75 percent to up to like three percent like you know extra additional charge on that which of course sucks like you don't want to like pay additional money for your own money that you're taking out by using a credit card and this is not a, a lot better for the traditional banks either so most of the times the traditional banks will not work in other countries anyways so for example i'm with foxbank so like foxbank uses this vpay thing and vpay is generally like you know when we went to turkey when we went to denmark and in a few other countries you need the money in that currency and when you're trying to use this debit card from your bank which is not a visa or a mastercard or a amex then of course like you have no luck and then you might get really frustrated and in those kind of times i always used my sbi this global debit card or like i think the global visa debit card something like that and i always used that and it worked out the fees on that was also like not so much so like it was still affordable i still use it at times when i don't have any of the cards nearby but so far whenever you're traveling credit cards are just a necessity that you need and a good one is really going to save a lot of your nerves and the gabuin fry master gold card is actually one of those so this is really nice and the best thing is like whenever you pay for something the final bill where you have to like transfer the money manually from your bank account to the bank account or the iban that they're going to give for you for your credit card that happens in seven weeks that means you can buy whatever stuff you're buying and then after seven weeks you pay for them that means so if you're tight on money or something you still have an option that you pay for it a bit later when you have gathered the money from any kind of like different kind of sources right so that is important anyways a golden rule is like never pay more than you actually earn and then comes the part where credit card 
companies actually make money from you, which is the high interest rate. So like all of these credit cards, if you do not pay the full amount at the time when you're like, you know, uh, receiving the bill, then maybe you have the option of paying just for like 30 euros every single month or something. But then you're actually paying 20% interest rate, which of course is crazy. And like, you don't want to be paying those kind of interest rates, right? So as long as you're paying the entire amount completely in time without any kind of drama, you will get your cash back in most of the credit cards and you don't have to pay any kind of extra fee, right? But in Gibeon Fry, you don't have any kind of cash back, but like the benefits it has, which is like, you don't have any kind of uh, charges like Gebühren frei in German pretty much means like without fees. So you don't have any yearly fees. You don't have any kind of fee when you're taking out money from the ATM, which is also really nice because the other two cards I will discuss also will charge you something if you're taking out money from any kind of ATM. So Gebühren frei also does that. And then it also lets you take out money in any kind of like target currency whenever you are in that country without again, any kind of like additional charges. So you get the best rates possible. And I use this credit card so much that I don't even go to the exchange places because most of the times the rate that they are giving there is like, again, having some kind of commission inside and I don't like it. I mean, why are you paying extra for something that, you know, you don't need to. So that's why I use this credit card. It's like an absolute lifesaver whenever we like go to Denmark or like we go to uh, Czech Republic or, you know, other kind of like neighboring countries where you have different currency. Gebühren Fry is the credit card we are using. We don't go to the uh, this Reise Bank or something to get the currency exchange because it just takes a lot of our time and it just doesn't have to be that way. Like we're living in 2020 and you have these nice credit cards which you can use and just save a lot of time. So that was about Gibby and Fry. The thing that kind of annoys me is that you have to like manually send the money. So both of the other cards that I'm talking about, they will deduct the money automatically. But in Gibby and Fry, you have to like manually transfer the money to that uh, target IBAN, right? So that is kind of the thing that sucks. But of course, like I have uh, some services that I use from US, which are in US dollars. If I would use my other credit cards, like they will get extra charges on them. And of course I don't want that. So Teachable, where my course is hosted, is from US. So like it is built in US dollars. Calendly, where my appointments happen, that is in US dollars and like a lot of other things. So I just make sure that all of the other kind of transactions, which are happening in other currencies, are from Gibby and Fry and not from the other credit cards. Now I will go to the next one, which I got next. And that is the Amazon Visa card. So this is the Amazon Prime Visa card. And I use it generally for all kinds of Amazon purchases. The best thing with this is like you will get 3% off any single time you're buying absolutely anything from Amazon. And then the money, it gets also deducted automatically together at the end of the month or at the end of the next month, like it really depends. And you can like read more about it on the credit card company's website. But like I said, for credit cards, I never pay anything more than I have in my bank account. So like, I don't really care if it's like getting cut the same month or the next month. Generally, like all of the credit card companies will gather all of the transactions of the first month and then bill it in the next month. And like, that's why you also have this kind of leeway. Amazon Visa credit card, I generally use like i said for amazon purchases the best thing is like if you are a prime member then you can get the amazon credit card for free and you don't have to pay any kind of yearly fees on that so that's like really perfect and i had the amazon student account so i was still paying a lot less like i think 36 euros or something per year and um i got the credit card and you're getting 70 euros when you're starting with the credit card i think like now it has gotten lesser because like it, it got more popular because these kind of offers are only there when like people are still in the early phases and they're like luring people into like, you know, buying these credit cards or getting these credit cards. Um, otherwise, if you're not buying on Amazon, uh, you are just buying on any kind of like other, for example, gas station, restaurant, whatsoever. You can always just give the credit card as long as it is in euros. You can just give the credit card, you can pay with that, which is really nice and you get 0.5% on all of those transactions, which is like extremely nice because this is still the money that you wouldn't have essentially, but now you will have because you're getting the cash back. So uh, here that money is actually converted into the Amazon points. So like you can use those points to like, you know, buy more Amazon stuff. So yeah, it kind of like still keeps you in the ecosystem, but still you have points or like you have virtual money, which you can use to like get something else that you want or like reduce the price that you're done finally paying. 
So on Amazon products, 3% on all other kind of transactions, 0.5%, but do not use it for any kind of foreign currency transaction because the fees is rather high. And also do not take out any money from ATM with this card because again, the fees is rather high. I think 7.5 euros will be deducted right away. Like if you're just like taking out even 10 euros. So don't do that. But for shopping on Amazon or any kind of other places, this is just absolutely nice. Now, the third one and the last one that I will be talking about is the American Express uh, Payback credit card. And this is the one which I got recently. And uh, the nice thing about this card is that if you're going to, for example, Raver, or if you're going to Penny or any kind of like other Payback partners, because Payback is actually an American Express uh, company, like they own it, they're able to partner nicely with these other kind of brands. So what happens is if you would even have a normal Payback card, and I think if you're living in Germany, you would know about it, uh, on Payback, you always get 0.5% back. So with the Payback card, which doesn't cost anything, and this credit card, like I talked about, like all the other credit cards I have, this also doesn't cost anything. Like it's, uh, it has no yearly fees or something, or no kind of like transaction fee if you're paying in euros or something like that. And I will go into more details, but 0.5% you will get from American Express, and 0.5% you will get back from the Payback. So essentially any kind of transaction, any kind of like, you know, money you're spending in the payback partners, first of all, you will get 1% back. And if you're spending anywhere else, then you get 0.5%. The nicer thing about this card is that you can actually get the cash back. You can get whatever payback points you have transferred to your bank account, which is absolutely nice. I mean, if you have 26 euros, if you have 2,600 points or something, that means essentially 26 euros. And then you can just like, you know, get a transfer. If you have like a lot more points, if you have, I don't know, 100,000 or something, and uh, you can use them and just get the money back. Then uh, you can download the Payback app and in that you have different kind of coupons coming up all the time. Sometimes it has like seven times Payback uh, points or sometimes at Raver or like sometimes 10 times Payback points on Penny or something. Just use them and then the 10 times actually becomes 10% cashback right and then afterwards once you have all of those points you can get it transferred either to miles and more the lufthansa's frequent flyer program or you can just directly get them back to your bank account which is nice so essentially out of all of these three credit cards american express is the only card which is giving you the cash back in your bank account the amazon.de visa uh, card is actually just giving you points and the Gibeon Fry is actually not giving you anything at all. So like zero, right? But the benefit with that is you're not paying any kind of other transaction fee. And this is really important if you're living in Germany and you have to do some kind of transactions in other countries, or if you're like traveling or something, I would say like this is an absolute lifesaver. Otherwise, like both of these credit cards are nice if you're just doing the payments in euros. Uh, I would not use these other two credit cards for any kind of other use cases. So if you want to take the money out of the ATM, don't do it. If you want to just pay in US dollars or Danish krona or check something, like don't do it. But Gebühren fly. That is the fun thing. Like Gabion Fry, you can pretty much use for every single thing, which is just absolutely nice. Um, there are also going to be referral links. That means if you want to apply for these credit cards, you will get 40 euros and I will get 40 euros, which is nice. I think that doesn't apply to Visa, this Amazon Visa card. And it applies only for the Gabion Fry and for payback, you get, I think, 10 euros referral. So you will get 10 euros, I will get 10 euros. That's the entire story. So these are just pretty much my recommendations and how I use them. I did not want to like, you know, make the kind of video where you're not able to understand anything. And because like a lot of people do that and when they're making like credit card videos, I just pretty much tell you very simply how I use them and where I use them, what are the benefits and what are the disadvantages of having these credit cards. In any case, I would say like whenever you get the credit card kind of, um, how do I say it? the credit card bill, pay it in full. If you're not paying in full, the problem comes that then you're charged interest rates, which are of course not nice. 
But if you are just like paying in full and on time, then you can avoid all of these extra benefits and also avail services which you wouldn't have been able to avail with your normal debit card because like just try a few things. Your normal debit card that you get from the German banks, you cannot do anything with that. The Indian banks are still better in the sense that you get debit cards with Visa or MasterCard. So it is nice. You can still use them to like do different kind of stuff. So like a lot of students use it to enroll in my online course or book an appointment with me. I generally use them for any kind of like other currency I was taking out other than euros because well, that was just when I needed them. And the best thing is like credit cards do not cost anything at all. Like they don't cost anything. These three that I'm talking about and with the conditions I was telling you, like, you know, they don't cost anything, which is really nice. You never know when you might need some extra line of credit or like you might need to just borrow some money and like maybe pay it afterwards. So in those kind of cases, if your parents are not able to help you or something, then credit cards work. But of course, like use them carefully. I'm going to make some more videos about it if you're interested, like how to use credit cards or like, you know, the best steps of or like places to use the credit cards on and so on. So if you're interested in something like that or like some other topic, leave a comment under the video and you know, I'll just put it in my list. I have a list of video ideas that I always have with me. So I will put it there and then we can talk about it. Otherwise, the referral links are going to be in the video description. Thanks a lot guys um, and be careful with your spending.